Matthew Perry's gone. He is deceased. Welcome to episode oh, number her, 38. Amber, she loves him. Yeah, he's a funny guy. He's we we all good. loved him, but now he's gone. A moment of silence. Okay, okay. that's enough. Um, episode number 38 of the Fully Actual Podcast. Uh, it was the second last one. We got one more here next week, and then we are in the live show, which is sold out, everyone. It is sold out. We'll be having merch available. Oh, it's already been available. Yeah, holy holy shit. Shit. This is this has come out the day, two days after the live show. Before we go any further, our merch website is live. We have podcast related stuff there. We've got Matt's have shirts and hats. We've got fully actual. We've got some other shit there. The link will be in the description. So have a look. And uh, finally, we have some merch we can be proud of. It's really good quality. The designs aren't as, as kind of fucking um, uh, like uh, vibrant as, as, as they were previously. We just kind of like the subtle kind of shit. Shit that we would wear. So now we can wear it all the time. Like we shit that we would wear like out and about. Apart you know what from I mean? the podcast. Like a t-shirt. Yeah, like a like a like a t shirt that you would wear to the movies with your girlfriend that you have now. Uh, I actually have a movie group that I go to the oh. movies with. Oh god. Anyway, let's move that. along. So the merch, yeah. have a look, link in the description. We're also very open to suggestions. So if there's stuff there that you want to see added or you think is shit, please we can handle it. Let us know in the comments if you fucking think it's shit, Matt. If you think it's shit. Really? Yes. Of course. Yeah, we want to hear all feedback. Wow, so the live show's just been and gone now. This is crazy. Wow, so we're done. Yeah, yeah. This is like, we've done filming, but it's still coming out. I mean, you'll see the live yeah. show. I'm sure it was a huge, huge success. Yeah, wow. Well, I wonder if I've won Matt vs. Michael yet. Yeah, holy shit. That's coming today. And something else coming today. We got, we got our wives joining us. Yeah, I have a wife. Michael's been away having his little mini moon. Yeah, we went to a very, very, very nice place. And then now we have Scarborough. Wives. No, no, it was Brookfield. Alice Springs. Springbrook. 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 Yeah. But um, we did actually manage to get on to Matt's partner. Oh. And she will also. Damn it, I'm not even going to fucking surprise him. Oh, yeah. That's a lie. Fuck. That's a lie. And if she has said she's going to come, I'm going to say no. Oh, Brown, come no. on. No, she's no. already on her way. She's, she's going to be out, like, Mond's bringing her. So. Uh, it's going to be all three of them together. That's a poor joke. Look, she's here. She not, will be here. She will soon. be here, not yet. That's a poor joke. All right, look. Yeah, look, you'll have we'll to move wait on. and see. We'll move on. God, you guys used to be so good. <laughs> it's real. That's the most real thing I've ever said. Shut up. Look, <laughs> look. <laughs> I didn't want on. you to tell. Let's I wanted to be surprised when she comes in. Look. We've been very busy. We've got like, well, when this comes out, like four weeks left. But right now we have like six weeks left and we have to like do a lot of all the work that we would have to do during our break. We have to do it now. So shit's fucking crazy. Not to mention that Michael and I have agreed oh, man. to Australia's first ever podcast fight night. Okay, we tried to get Matt involved. They couldn't do a three-on-three three thing. Most podcasts are just like two people. I should have called out like a, a producer. So Michael Someone and I still can. will be boxing, all right? We will be boxing two other podcast guys. I believe um, one of the hosts of the tr uh, Proper True Yarn podcasts and the other one from the Dead Ass podcast, all right? Look, and we've started fucking training our asses off. We haven't really done much boxing before. This is all fucking new to us. It's in April 27th next year. So stay tuned for ticket information if you want to come into the Gold Coast Convention Center. They're, they're doing crazy it's shit. Crazy. It's like a Russian boxing Dude, match. You know where they it's do the crazy be a wild stuff? Night because I have heard there's like little people that are going to be fighting. Yeah, yeah. There's seven little little oh no yeah there's an ant weight they call it there's there's one get this right there's a, a, a fight where there's just seven heavyweight dudes who are blindfolded who are going to go in their last one standing wins imagine being the winner of that man that could fuck you up you could, fuck, you could have sex with anything you wanted if you were the winner of that blindfold no, not boxing if your face is caved in terrifying. it doesn't matter 
You can, you can you can have whatever you want. I'm pretty sure, actually, speaking of sex, there's going to be girls in bikinis fighting. Oh, yeah, I think there's, oh, a, yeah, there's a lingerie fight. There's, a lingerie Look, there's fight, lots yeah. of fights on, and it's just like kind of podcast. We're just doing it. It's a bit of exposure and a bit of a bit of fun for for um for, for the podcast. And also just because I just really was in a fucking funk and let myself go after getting married, and I just kind of need something to, to get to me work back towards. into shape. Yeah, so, and it's very motivating doing this. We've been... I haven't missed a day of working out apart from fucking, what was it? I fucked oh, your my wedding? Back. Yeah, I fucked my back, so I've been out of, yeah. What's going on with your back? It scares me. So some other podcasts is going to be fighting on the night. We've got the Alpha Blokes Boys, Two Flogs, Proper Tree Yarns, Bloody Brilliant Beers, We Mean Well, The Reggies, The Dead Ass Podcast, Levels Podcast, Also a Man, The Daily Blue, Marty Michael for the Actual, and Cast Patrol. Yeah, wow. And special guests throughout the night. So, yeah, stay tuned for ticket announcements. 27th of April, Michael and I are going to go and have a bit of a fucking... We, look, we've the guys we're fighting, apparently um, one of them's done... Used to do, like, tent fights. Guy Sebastian might be performing there. Like, might... I'm not 100% on that. That's might completely... Be. He's going to fight Ricky unsubstantiated. Lee. And, and so, you know... Where we might, well, there's a good chance we'll lose and get knocked out cold in front of thousands of people. Wouldn't that be nice to watch? But you know, it's it's for a laugh at the end of the day. Oh, I'm jealous. I wish I was fighting with you guys. All right, all right. We'll, we'll figure something out. We can get you in there. That's all right. Look, we'll see what we can do, Matt. No, you've said it now. Probably it's happening. Late. Look, it's set it on camera. Oh, we anyway, probably could, couldn't we? Yeah, I'll, I'll make a call. See what see what we can do. I'll say Matt desperately wants to get involved, <laughs> especially with the uh, little people. It scared me when you said that they're friends with Jonathan Brown. And I thought Jonathan Brown would want some revenge for the yeah. Brown versus Brown. Brown versus we, Brown. We, we push because I'd be in his weight class. He's probably more, weighs more than me, but <laughs> that'd be terrifying to fight him, though. <clears throat> but anyway, so that's what's going on. It's just crazy at the moment, eh? These last few weeks of the year are just fucking intense. Heck, we've got our fucking wives coming. We've got a fucking prank call. We got a, we got a fucking news for you about that yoga place that we prank call, bro. Oh. <laughs> they called us the next day, right? And there was the boss, and he was like, um, he was like, oh, because I forgot to put my phone on private. And he like was like, oh, who's this? And then I didn't know who it was, so I just spoke in a man's voice. And he's like, oh, sorry, we just had some old lady call last uh, last night, and blah 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 blah. So we're gonna call them again. This is gonna wow. Well, this could go one of two ways. I'm just gonna call and apologize as Margaret. Oh, that's all right. If it's an apology, then it's yeah, good. And maybe have get a bit frantic at the end, a bit emotional. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's how Margaret is. So I just want to apologize for uh, any disturbance that oh Margaret may have caused. Do that's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what that. I fucking mean? Um, you fucking. Um, and yeah, that's that's it. So what? So tell us about the weekend, Michael. What the fuck did you do? First ever honeymoon. How many? First and only. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it was called a mini moon. So we went away for a weekend and it was the most beautiful place ever somewhere in, Spring I'm going to say Brookfield. Springbrook. Springbrook. Okay. Springbrook. Did you go to Purling Brook? Yeah, the falls. Yeah. And then it was like a little tiny house and you had to heat up the spa by lighting a fire underneath it. But we made it so hot that it was like 60 degrees. Oh, you cooked oh, wow. yourselves. Yeah, it was fucked up. But that was, yeah, that was just one part of it. There was bees. Oh wow! We yeah. Oh, Did you we get went, stung. Yeah. Were they all over the ground? And if Amy gets stung by a bee, she dies. <laughs> oh, it's her dad. But we don't know if she gets stung. It could, could be her. So that was scary. Anaphylactic. But it was like, like the coolest place ever. Two nicest bee. place ever. Best company ever. And very good. And now you're married. Now I'm. I've got a now, ring on my finger. Now sixty-seven percent of this podcast is married, and we're happy. We did it. We successful relationship. What are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? What are you doing over there? Hey? Very, very happy. Where You're I being am. a little cheeky boy. Hey? You got <laughs> My parents got a little girlfriend. Mm, do you yeah. guys hold hands when you walk? Yeah. <laughs> do you ever like go <gasps> yawn and then like put your arm around during a movie because you watch and so grab many her movies? Grab a in hard. Nah, she she beats me to it every time. Really? Yeah. She does the yawn. Sit, if if I sit down on the couch, she's like boom. She's in there. Oh, okay. Well, there yeah. you go. You she love loves, that. She loves a good hug. Do you love snuggle? That? Hey. Do you like that? Do she? Do you guys sleep in together? Not too much, a little bit. Snuggle in the morning together. <laughs> <laughs> oh kissing, kissing. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever just? That's getting shy. Do you ever it's push your eyebrow hairs happy. over your eyes? Like, do you ever push your eyebrow hairs? Do you get out nervous? Do you get nervous? 
Sometimes <laughs> she's coming over. She's I haven't, I haven't cleaned. Has she ever not shaven and you've just yelled at her, shave? Do you ever go like that? No. <laughs> Have you banged your hands on the table at dinner yet? Because she's talking too much. No. Does Have that we, happen with all of oh, you? It, oh, it happens. Have you like daily. accidentally seen a birthmark and gone, oh? No, I've seen her birthmark. It's quite nice. Oh, shit. I didn't know she had one. She, I'm sorry. Everyone has a birthmark. So what, does everyone mean. really have a birthmark? Everyone has I've a birthmark. I've got one, yeah. So yeah. I guess it's, I so can everyone say Everyone literally it. does have a birthmark. Pretty much everyone. If you don't come over, we'll find it. It's where you got shot in your previous life. Mum said that's where God grabbed you and dipped you in the skin colour. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a German thing to tell you. Is yeah, that true? is so fucking dumb. Is that not dumb. true? <laughs> that's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've got one. I think I've got one. But yeah. I think it's mine's just here. See that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. But then oh, some yeah. people's are darker than others. Oh, it's like they coffee get, they was get spilt less. on you. They get less as you get older, don't they? I got one on the back of my leg. Like that. Yeah, I got one there too. But see, I also mm -hmm. got that there. So they both look like... Anyway, this we're talking about birthmarks. Sorry, Let's sorry. move on for fuck's sake. We've progressed. Let's get these fucking sponsors out of the way so we can get paid and they can fuck off. Oh, fucking <laughs> oh. Shit. All right. What do we got here, eh? Speaking of that, Cracker Milk Sing came out. Oh yeah, the Cracker Milk Halloween specials out. Have a bloody cheeky look. Cracker Milk on YouTube. We're in it. Yeah, we're all in it. If yeah. you look hard, we're all in it. There's there's a huge announcement. You think all that shit we just talked about was huge? Shut up. This will change your life. <sighs> okay, Manscaped. You're not going. You're not even going to believe me. So you just have to look for yourself. All right. But on November the seventh, okay, which is now. <laughs> The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is launched. So they've done one, right, and it was a big hit. They've done 2.0, 3.0, 4.0. Heck, they've even done a 4.5.0. But now it's 5.0. I wonder what's going to come next. And that's never, ever been done before. And it is so sleek and beautiful. If you just pick it up, you automatically shave your body. You push your button on it and you this laser goes and trims all your hair exactly how you're thinking, or how you want it. You'll never have to go to the barber again. It cuts your hair perfectly. It pl pl plucks your eyebrows perfectly. You can choose to wax with it. You can choose to just trim your hair. You can freshen your breath with it. You can stab. You can drive in the car with it. You can drink out of it. It's a flask, you fucking idiot. It's got shaving foam trapped in the bottom of it and you push a huge button and the shaving foam goes, shoots out really hard all over the fucking floor. We think. It's fucking wild, bro. They've got other shit too. They got some other shit. If that doesn't tickle your little dick hole. They've got this body wash. Go, ah, no, stop. go to manscaped.com and use our discount code fully actual 20 for 20% off. Boom, there you go. There's some money in your pocket. Out of uh, straight out of our pocket, bang. Straight in your pocket, man. You you'd be a dumb fucking idiot if you didn't take the most of this opportunity and fucking get there and fucking start a huge fire. Burn your neighbor's house down and steal all their money when they're running for fucking life and then use that money to buy manscaped products, you dumb idiot. How did you not know that yet? Smells yeah. nice. Uh, I don't recommend maybe doing the Shut fire thing. Shut it up. Thing. Fuck yeah. Start a fire and buy the 5.0 if you don't have any money. <sighs> but remember the business venture you can take is we get 20% off. So you buy it from us then sell it full price. You make 20%. There you go. Now, now, you, now you've got a second income. You so at fucking, least do that. Fucking idiot. So get around it and go to the link in the description right now before I fucking fuck myself. Also for women. Yeah, chicks can have that shit too. Bro, chicks love that shit, bro. It's hectic. Uh, blah, A to blah, the blah, G blah. to the 1 to the C. A to the 1 to the GCE. AG1. 75 vital nutrients and minerals. Are you going to take 75 different pills and shit from fucking vitamins and shit? No. You get one. AG1. 
You got you, it's a subscription, they drop it at your front door. It's with so much health packed into a green powder. So much science has gone into this that like we couldn't even fucking read the sheet of paper that they sent us. I said AG what? what? It had so many graphs and formulas on it, man. I so lost. I was bleeding from my nose, man. I said AG I what? Massive headaches. Huge, massive fire headaches. And I took AG1 and my body rose out of the corpse it was. <laughs> and my neck extended to certain points that I'd never seen and now my body looks like this. <laughs> AG1, the only one. It's also got, if you want to improve your gut health, if you've got a fuck gut, if your gut fuck and you shit poo shit blood and fuck gut shit, you eat proper food and you get all fuck gut, try AG1 and that's straight out of here. That's straight off the script. Try AG1 for fuck gut. Link in our description ag1.com slash fully actual and you get a free travel pack boom there you go have that that's that you could sell that travel pack for hundreds of dollars yeah you could easily make some money there or i just figured out a new business venture if you invoice just thousands of people for like 150 dollars for like i don't know electrical work or something window cleaning like a small percentage of those people will just be like, oh, okay, and, and pay that invoice. Then you can buy AG1 with that money that you make from these lies. So now you've got a second income, a third income. Now you could potentially build that scam up. You could hire people and they could start doing it. You could be invoicing millions of people a day and 1% of a million is a shitload more than what you're making. <laughs> <laughs> and AG1 gave us those sort of ideas. You could also... Buy it, get the AG1 free pack, change your name, get another free pack, change your name, get another free pack. Just get heaps of free packs, sell them. And then get, like, get them, right? But and take then it cancel your card. Get a new card. Get a new card. Change your name, then get another free pack. Yeah, and like just be fucking ruthless to get to the top, bro. Be ruthless about it, bro. Fuck your family. It's a jungle out there. <laughs> if you've experienced a lack of energy... Which Matt has. <laughs> He's always going, oh, this is his face when he comes home. Oh, hell's wholesome, Matt. Not good. <laughs> AG1 will fix that. Anyway, that's enough about me. Yeah, look, that was good. Look, Link in our description, man. Yeah, just drink it and you'll see. Yeah. You'll see how good it makes you feel. Don't take our word for it. Go and get it done and see what you think for yourself, you fucking <laughs> You fucking <laughs> Oh man, I lost control at the end. No, I reckon they. <laughs> oh fucking! They needed to hear. It. Tough love is necessary love, and also our subscription website, man, where we just post the biggest bangers, bro. They'd be so <laughs> viral if we posted that shit to YouTube, <laughs> but we can't because YouTube would delete it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, check it out. Twenty-one day free trial. Link in the description. So that's done. Now let's have a fucking bong and get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, this, that's the end of the podcast. We'll see, see you, guys. you guys next week. And we're Where back. Matt, can you get the fuck out of the way? Get off! Get off. You're still on camera, Matt! Fucking... Oh my god! Oh my god! You <laughs> fucking! Oh. I'm so sorry. Sorry, girl, wives. Sorry, our wives. So sorry about that. Um, everyone. Isn't that weird? Please stand. Please stand Husbands. and yeah, clap your hands. These are our wives, everybody. Welcome our wives. I have a wife. We both have a wife now. Look, that's our wife now. We have to be with them now for a really long time and hopefully f until one of us dies. A couple uh, years at least. I hate them. Yeah, same. The headphones are no good. All right, so... <gasps> annoying. Look, we're, we're all <laughs> recently We've had a hard made. day, okay? Yeah, really Mon and I are a bit it's, tired. It's night time oh. now. It's Tuesday night and they're, <laughs> they're a bit tired from their big day at work, aren't, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Well, look, we'll, we'll keep this. We'll keep this short and sweet. All right. We'll get straight into it, and then we'll get you out. Why? Why did you guys marry us? Mon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Go on. 
You're first. <laughs> no, you go. You're fresh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I married Michael um, because he makes me laugh so much. Um, what does he do that makes you laugh? Give us one example. You know, honestly, it's just <laughs> it's when I'm really angry. I'll be so <laughs> mad. Just like I don't want to be tested. I'm PMSing. I'm just like I've already told him, don't piss me off today. And then he'll just, you know. The Ikea story. What's the Ikea story? When I was on the call. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Someone, so I was PMSing hard. Word. Like I, I can turn into like a like a raging bull. Like it's kind of <laughs> scary. Yeah, scary. I think I need medication. <laughs> <laughs> More. No, and um, yeah, so we were shopping around for like our last minute stuff mm. for um the wedding. And as you can imagine, Michael's a big Big help <laughs> with wedding planning. Yeah, you, got, you got away with doing fucking nothing. <laughs> Dude, I had to take you to get suits. Yeah, Amber was there. You yeah. literally yeah. asked me to, to plan that. Anyway, so I was having a bad day and I had to get some boards and crap because a stupid venue just don't supply anything. Mm. So um, I was walking around, walking around, then I was like, hey, babe, just, you know, you just stand there and I'll just go get all the crap. And then I came back like a couple of minutes later and he's he's got this... Um, cutting board there's a, so it's so busy in ikea and michael's holding this cutting board up to his ear and he's like yeah 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 okay so went, okay i'll be there soon yeah i'm not a problem it's like pretending this like cutting boards like this meeting that he's in on the phone and these women are just walking past like slowly just looking at him really concerned and he's like oh yeah i've got to go when he sees me and it just oh, it just cracked me up and then i was just out of my bad mood yeah so that's the key for a this while gets silly. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it can go the other way and it can make you no, no, yeah, it can, that, that's only rarely. It's, it's a just, risk. It's a risk. Yeah, it is a bit of a risk. But yeah. no, you you um always chirp me up. What? What, Matt? What are you fucking scoffing at? He took the risk and it didn't work out, and you're always mad at it. I think it's oh surely. yeah. I th I think oh, surely. I can't. Yeah, I can't think of many. something. It's pretty much daily. It's just like you no. Know, I think it's just yeah. things like I've just asked you the same thing like eighty thousand times, and you just still haven't done like that one thing. I was like, you know, just take the kitty litter out. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just won't take the litter out. I'm like, so you take the litter out. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just um, oh, it's just it's just like the other day reminders. when I was at like the coffee shop. She wanted me to go to a get coffee and it was like two minutes down the road, but I went to one that was half an hour away. Oh my God, oh, I didn't understand why, why it was taking I thought that so was the long. only coffee shop. I, I said that the crepe store has the coffee beans. <laughs> and so he goes so half an hour to New Farm <laughs> and I'm like, where are you? This is the day, day before our wedding. And <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, no, I'm in New Farm. And I was like, oh my God, I told you. <laughs> New, New Market. New, New Market. And I said the crepe store. I was like, what crepe store is in New Farm? <laughs> they both have the word <laughs> new in it. So it that confused me. Yeah. Yeah, true, that is true, confusing. True. I'll give you that. <coughs> All right, well, but it, there you go. There was no crepe store. Yeah. True. <laughs> I thought the so, crepe store was the cafe, but yeah, I should have listened more. It wasn't crepe. <laughs> <laughs> Still. Hey. That pancake manner. Look, you guys are. Um, no, no, look, no, just you're with us for life no. now, right? So, I um, did a post in our um, website member Facebook group yesterday, and I just asked them like what they want to know from you guys. Because there's a lot of people who are genuinely interested what the fuck you're doing with us. Oh, wait, wait, we didn't go to Mon though. Why, oh, yeah, why go did on, you Mon. marry oh. Marty? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <'Cause> I'm, <laughs> I'm tired. She's too tired to answer. She married me because yeah, she's tired. Yeah, it's just easy. I exhausted her. <laughs> oh. You're Get very her funny, babe. Yeah. Yeah. You're a good stepdad. Yeah. You both are very funny. <laughs> Yeah, there's some good... Anyway, yeah, all right, look, daddy. let's move you on. Yeah, <coughs> You're a good dad, Marty. Yeah, I know. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get into some of these questions, all right? Okay. Just be as honest as you like. Now, uh, there's some of the... <laughs> now, before we even get into that, though, have you guys... Does Michael tell you what we film for the website? No, never. I never ask. I just... I can't. I just can't do it. What, what, do, you th what do you think it is? Well... Accidentally, um, when Michael's approving different things, like last night there was just a, a picture of, oh. you know, both your asses like glued together with James, like laughing like really happily. 
and I don't, that so it's just it's just stuff like that I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, look, it is like I I do I sometimes I call mine after a video and I'm a bit ashamed and I'm like, look, fuck this, we just did this and I have to run it by her because like I just. Need she's to chill. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's it's, fine. Look, but I think also you need to remember that, yeah, it's like like Jackass did all kinds of like gross shit as well, like the pissing on each other on set, like Dave England and his shit stunts and stuff like that. So it's just like an ex- we've kind of grabbed that and just kind of exaggerated it a bit. Yeah. And it's only one small portion of the website too. Yeah, I think it's fucking cool. It's it's comedy. It's an attempt at comedy and we have a very, very influ- heavily influenced... <laughs> Are you defending yourself or not? <laughs> I'm just kind of... We're the divorce famous. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we totally understand, but, but I don't I don't want to know. Would you ever watch them? Yes. Yeah, I, I watch it for a reaction sort of yeah, video yeah, or something. Really you know. watch you but watch. I don't, now you're married. I think Amber will be very grossed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we'll have to pick and choose a few, especially if you think about like the, the dinner date one was like, whoa. I that think I, but I, I love the beginning of that. I, that's the one I, I like. She likes things. the sketchy bits. I love yeah. the sketchy and as soon as it gets to the fucked what about up, the like pain. Or, we should show them the piss no, yeah, no, we can I, show I've seen three, three intro videos. That's all I've mm. seen. <laughs> mm. Pistillery. I show all like the, the fun bits, but then like once the pain starts happening or gross shit starts happening, she's like, I, I, don't, yeah. I can't see well, that. Yeah, you the don't pain. let me. Well, and well, even just in general, like the social media vids, you're like, I'm not watching that. Like she hears me scream. She's like, nah, can't see it. Oh, yeah, I don't want to see you in pain. Yeah, I think it's funny. Yeah, Mon always <laughs>, laughs. You always think I'm you always get a crack out of it. Yeah. You running. You have the running pain yeah, Mon thing gets you do. Oh, man. I got Marty good today. He's got marks on yeah, him. Like, holy God. shit. Fuck I think, me. yeah, that was that like. snake plant? Ten yeah, yeah, that thing, oh, but even worse today with it was some like other plant. Fucking plant. Impressive. What's yeah. that? What was that? Was that the today? snake plant on the back. Yeah, we tested which plant like, hurts wow. the most. Mm-mm, I should have got your cactus in. <coughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. There was a cactus in there. CCL? Right. It's not CCL. <laughs> Shout out. All right, guys, let's get into these questions, all right? Brett Williams. Hi, Brett. How are you, Brett? <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking Matt's job. <laughs> Question number one. It's what boring. stunt slash activity has made you the most angry? Oh, no, actually, yeah, I feel first. like, yeah, yours is easy. Yeah. No, I think it was just the, um, you know, we, I think we spoke about this um, briefly last time. It was just, yeah, when... Michael and I were like two months into it, into dating, and he had the um, vinegar up his ass. Oh yeah, that's right. And, but it was like excruciating pain for like about a week. It was like bleeding from his bum, like like nonstop, and it was like real, real writhing around. And I remember Marty, um, you know, looking very guilty at the hospital, and it was like you know, obviously you didn't do it on purpose, but I was also like, how didn't you? think this was going to be going bad yeah we even called james's mom and asked james thought it'd be fine too we just we need I don't to know water why. it down Dilute and now i'm it, like yeah. blastoise yeah. and because yeah. we'd heard of people doing <laughs> vinegar <laughs> enemas before hadn't we pretty sure no but vinegar like a- enemas are different uh, too yeah. like you know bicarb soda yeah and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah i think yeah, that, that was really yeah, but i wasn't mad at you i think i was just mad about the idea of you know you having a coloscopy coloscopy Shit, Col- Shit colonoscopy, dude. Yeah. That would have been. I was stressed so about that because I remember your dad was like, "Michael, you might have a shit bag for us." I was like, "Oh my oh. god, <laughs> that's like that's a that's a <laughs> that lot to deal with." Oh, and then the mandarin to the eye like elevated the our the content as well. Oh, yeah, that, that was annoying. Yeah, Michael had a colonoscopy bag that would elevate our content. Yeah, it would yeah, be agreed. it would be that good would be for comedy, but like just life in general, it would make things so much harder. I know we're making love, and then we just see it come out. You hear the crunching of the bag. Yeah, yeah, just. Oh. Oh. And then you feel it gets full. And, and Michael, it's, it's a bit of a smell. You wouldn't empty it much, so it would pop oh, every yeah, now and then. So you'd lazy. Because you, <laughs> you, you wouldn't know if he's shitting. Bag. He wouldn't know if he's that shitting or not. Happen. No, it would. I could no, see it. Wouldn't. It, it would. would not. No, I wouldn't let it I get that far. I'd get would. a cleaner. I'd have like like a little <laughs> like cleaner come in. A little in. boy. He'd have a little boy come in and clean him. Your child. Oh. Yeah. We'd have a kid, and that kid would clean my bag. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Yeah, you know what? Let's yeah, let's get you a bag. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> what made you angry, Mom? Nothing. I don't think anything's made me angry. No, I yeah. haven't been angry. I think I was just upset. You know. What about Poor his you. eye when he almost lost his eye? Oof. When James hit me, but yeah. No. Was bad, and when you slipped over too with your back, that was, was oh, a bad, but one. I can't yeah, remember. That, oh, that, that was bad. I didn't one. like. I don't like the noise. Yeah, the, like, the, no. the head. <laughs> that one was no. I think that. Oh was yeah, the one. that was hectic. Or oh, the A frame off the trailer almost hitting you in the head and killing you. All right, Pete Ryan, how do you feel about being the queens of the thirteen-year-olds? Hmm? <laughs> 
once. That was such a funny line, that guy <laughs> And remember our neighbour when we used to film at our house, the, our neighbour was like, shut up, you fucking king of the third Oh, <laughs> that is so lame. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, he's still... That have you seen him since? <laughs> no, but I would love to yell at him. He'd just be looking at you and go, that's the queen. All right, next question. Yeah, I should. But no. Um, You didn't even ask the question. Yeah. Um, It's just kind of a a joke. (laughs) Oh, well, I wanted to answer. What is it? I feel good. (laughs) (laughs) Would you get crowns for all of us? (laughs) Made by 13 year olds. You know, they're not like children. Yeah, they're they're like, they're young adults. They are. They're old enough adults. to work. They are. They are. Well, yeah, he could get a cleaner for a bag. <laughs> yeah, a colonoscopy bag cleaner. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Next question. Tegan Novello. Do you guys, after you guys do gross vids like pistillary, vom cake, et cetera, et cetera, how long does it take for them to kiss you again? Well, straight away. <laughs> what you don't know doesn't Yeah, matter. exactly right. It's good for the immune system. Well, no, you just never oh. tell me. Oh. I have to ask, He's is there something on your face? And you go, no. And then I lean in and you go, wait, I'm yeah, going to take yeah. a shower. <laughs> and yeah, you my, go take a shower. Mine is quite thorough. Well, I'll yeah. have a shower here, but then I'm like, oh, just double up. But Two you showers, don't can't. shower with with product, darling. No, you there's shower. Manscaped. No, but you don't. Manscaped. <laughs> well, it's not working. <laughs> Manscaped She's is not awesome. working. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy it. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. No, buy it. It does work. We just didn't have it in stock that day. Oh yeah, so oh. that doesn't really... We, we use Yognog from, oh, um, from so Lush, but no, Michael is not a believer in, <laughs> in um, soap. So no, Yognog I am. And then oh. Shampoo and conditioner, no. Okay, that's gross. You, as you if have you long don't, hair. No one washes their hair. No, it's but crazy if you too. guys are shitting on each other, you should. That, oh, I yeah. think that's yeah. what I mean. So when yeah, you guys yeah, had the barbecue yeah, yeah. sauce Look, we're not stuff, shitting like on was, each other's heads, was, babe. Come yeah, yeah. On. There's no sauce shitting on yes, each other's heads. Oh, actually, yeah, there was. You are. The condom one. Oh, yeah, shit. We are <laughs> shitting on each other's heads. I forgot about that. But <laughs> we had a condom. It was safe. Protected. And it's funny. It's it's oh. it's anyway. Look, it's let's fine if on. you wash. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> right, Just wash taken. yourself. Make and sure it, wash. actually, as well, I do wash his hair. That's how he gets clean. Just yeah, FYI. it is nice having. I must That's say, having a wife the bag. to wash you. It's very good. It's here's, very good. Here's a good question. Good feature about wives is they oh wash God. you. Here's here's a great question. Um, <laughs> have your friends and or family ever been concerned about the fact that you're with Marty and Michael because of the things they do? Mine yeah. are proud for now. <laughs> what do you mean for now? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your dad's in if love it, with Yeah, if, if they watch the website videos, mum would be very... Yeah, Mon's family is very back. supportive. No, yeah, well, the website video is very, very niche comedy. Let's not... Let's no, it's fine. Most, uh, I'd say 99.9% of women over women in general would probably find that our content fucked except for there's a lot of rad chicks out there that subscribe yeah, so yeah, thank yeah. you um but yeah well, i reckon well ella amber say it but oh man i feel so supported it's so cool yeah, my family's so it's very rad. good it's so nice because we our family wasn't even that supportive yeah like until like your family's better than our families yeah Yeah, your families fuck our families i'll back off i'll back off like he doesn't. He, I don't think my dad's watched like one video. He's yeah, yeah. No, he'll always what he hear your mum like giggling at videos, and then <laughs> yeah, my mum loves loves. Yeah, but not <laughs> so <laughs> funny that your mum likes the social media videos. But no, hey, even my extended family, you know, um, all the cousins and all your cousins, and you know, shout out to they Joshy too. Them. I know Joshy loves your stuff. You yeah, no, nah, they've been very lucky because man, my it, sister loves the podcast, the Simone. Not really. Oh yeah, wow. Chris. I don't shout out know to you, Simone. Listening. Yep. There you go. Shout yeah. out, shout out. Shout out. You shout get a out. car, you get a shout car. Shout out to the fam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, this is a question for us, Michael. Mm. Chevy Leah said, are there any stunts you don't tell your partners about? <laughs> um, I'm not really like, I guess I would tell her, but I know that it's probably best not to tell her. But then it's also like, there's nothing that's like, I'm like, oh, that's not that fucked up. Like it's, I think it's all cool to do. 
I think I only tell mom when she asks, when she says, oh, what did you film today? Oh yeah, I don't go home and go, oh yeah, I got hurt like this, I got hurt like that. Because I know that Amber doesn't like hearing I got hurt. So <laughs> she normally gets revealed when I take my shirt off and she just sees all the marks on me and she's like, oh, and I'm like, yeah. No, I generally sometimes, sometimes do like almost cry. It's like, it's like you've actually been tortured. It's like, you know, in, in, a, in a scene in a movie where the, the slave takes his shirt off and then the woman's like, oh no, you know, that's kind of. It's, it's like that, but oh, weekly. Oh my God. But yeah, I can, so I just feel bad because I see her face. Yeah. yeah she's like, oh. It's <clears> funny comparing days. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you get good hurt comparison. that day. I'm always like, does Marty even get hurt? <laughs> hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> Stop losing it, rock paper scissors. <laughs> yeah, I do suck at that. Really he's coming do. back yeah, a bit though really recently. Yeah. We played a 50-50 a game today and like like just flipping a coin and he won like 10 times in a row. Good it was job. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well God. done with the 50-50. I hurt you too. <laughs> yeah, you hurt me. Yeah. Sorry, man. Anyway, <clears throat> next question. When will Mon and Amber be in charge of inflicting pain in a video which spouse hurts more? Dude, that's a fucking good idea. Or we swap shit. partners. I mean, we already do that at home, don't we, Michael? Oh, no, no. We'll <laughs> don't make me angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Domestic we could violence do it. is not funny. If you need help, <laughs> oh, call blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I reckon we could do it so... Yeah, literally, you do the punishment, then you do the punishment, and then we just assess it. Mm. And then three different punishments. No, 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 three but like I hurt Marty. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think you hurt both you. hurt us. I, I don't know if I'd be able to actually hurt you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you, I can't hurt Marty. I'd oh, well, then fine. you could, like, obviously, you'd go hard on Marty, then you'd go hard on me. So yeah, I'm like, oh, Mon's swap. more powerful. Oh, Am is more powerful. Then we're like, holy shit, it could, it's science. That is I good don't know. science. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we'll talk about it, but that is a fucking not a bad video You're idea. You're better upper body, I'm lower body. <laughs> what? Don't you reckon? So you can kick and you, you can hit. You can swing your arms. <laughs> yeah, that was violent. It was like impressive. I don't know what was happening. Yeah, my wedding dress is quite heavy, but man, I didn't have any trouble lifting that thing up over and my head. showing her underwear. <laughs> yeah, I just got my period too. Literally, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Then it happened. Yeah. I do. Blood. That's why they were red. At the same time. <laughs> nah, for real. For I real. got it at the ceremony that, too. <laughs> What's that? Sorry, I was reading the question. The whites were, were white. Yeah, were white. The same white. Time. Yeah. But then they Literally turned red the later time. in the night. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. let's change the fucking subject, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, oh, Marty. doesn't like yeah. blood. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about this? This is a serious question. What is... Your favorite color? You know mine. Yeah, surely you don't mind. It's brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but no one's got the favorite color brown. Is it really? <laughs> you know, I thought it was colors. purple, and then you know, the older I get, it's green because you know I'm just being more environmental. Yeah. Oh. What's yours again? Brown. Pink. Pink. Yeah. Okay. What's like like pink? That's a lame question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, look, that's, um, that's, that's what I come up with. That's what I come up with. How about let's what talk is... about the wedding. So it started <laughs> as <laughs> we're getting ready. <laughs> you can talk about that all day. I can, I can. I really she's can. She's like, we're away and she's like, what do I have to look forward to now? I was like, well, yeah. look. Divorce. We'll just, do, <laughs> we'll just do a wedding every year. Uh, Renew our vows. Oh, man. Yeah, Maybe for our, billionaires. Our beautiful yeah. celebrant. Said my vows accidentally. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, you can't have it perfect, but you can't have it perfect. Sitting in the crowd. Yeah, you yeah. Tell. Well, I, I, I couldn't notice it, it. I had no idea. But yeah. You, well, you when you were like, oh, you've said this. <laughs> I was like, oh, you just said my vows. I guess Twice. I'll make something up. <laughs> yeah, true. I guess I did block that. What out. is the most annoying thing about Michael? Just an annoying thing about Michael. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I just have to repeat myself sometimes. <laughs> no. What about my? What about watching movies with <laughs> his him? listening skills? Yeah. Oh, and and we'll be you know, especially if it's something he's really interested in, like aliens or something, like or or you know the whole um, who's that guy we'll listen to on Joe Rogan? Um, Graham Hancock. Graham Hancock. Yeah, yeah. So we'll you know, I was uh, whenever I'm interested in what I'm watching, Michael. We'll, you know, talk over it. Like, yeah, so, you know, like that that bit is when, you know, oh, and, you know, that's not actually true. Because, you know, like, oh, it's like, it's like oh, it's just, 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 I, I can't actually hear. Yeah, but, you know, like when they film this, then it's like, oh, it's like one of those people that just. Uh, yeah, I, I can get annoying when, when I'm passionate. I can. It's like worms, mm. but we don't talk worms. Oh. 
But yeah, I'm very good at worms. We all know I could that. destroy <laughs> worms and I don't even know what it is. Oh man, imagine if we could play worms oh together. Oh my God, maybe you should show. Have you never showed her what worms? I don't think, I think I showed her Fortnite. Maybe no, if I won, you, if you I won grew, a match in front of her. If you watched it. And I think it made me less sexy. So I've kept gaming mm. away. But yeah, I was number nine in the world at Worms Bay. <laughs> I mentioned it in the speech. Is that the wedding? No, I know. Remember? You mentioned a lot. Yeah, like, I spoke about it. Yeah, my depth. uncle was in incredibly uncomfortable about the idea of someone picking up fresh dog shit off the ground because they didn't have a bag. <laughs> or wearing <clears throat> the same undies for six weeks. Yeah, that fuck. cannot be true and I don't, it I don't is. think so. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, it was exaggerated. A lot of it was exaggerated. No. Embellishment, but stuff yeah, like that. There was, a, <laughs> there was a lot of worms talk, wasn't there? Yeah. yeah. Man, that's so cool. I was number nine. Top ten. Yeah, what's annoying oh. about me? <clears throat> I am just when you very like annoying. Hold me down, and I'm trying to get away. That would be. <laughs> it's like, yeah. and I have to wait until he like stops she's holding me. I just have to. If like, I have like holding her hand gently, she's. I've literally oh. conditioned her that she has to pull her hand away like yeah. as fast as she can every <laughs> single time. I'm what, touching or you, her. Or, you or just, I'll grab it. Yeah, it's just reflex. I just and grab it and then I'm I hang on to it. Just tired, like right now. <laughs> just like like go. I'm me. just so much stronger than she is. It's just yeah. hard not to use it. <laughs> Yeah. You know what? I reckon we're on par. With oh, strength. we have wrestles, but like, if <laughs> I've got an injury, that, seriously. But yeah, no. Nah, when I, I was going hard, the I gym, could fucking bash she, her she'll, if I she'll, wanted to. <laughs> she'll she'll grab your nipple, and I just snap sometimes. Like I reckon, one, yeah, one time there will be a time where I accidentally hit her. Yeah, it's a lot of fuck off. <laughs> yeah, like I do swear, I swear, and then it's like, oh. But you know what, I Michael swears when he's part, he's like asleep. He'll go to the bathroom at like three a.m. And this was our wedding night. I told Marty I did on you this. On my wedding. I it fully was, regret this, and I'm sorry. But I, yeah, you do it a lot. So he, he'll wake up and then go to the bathroom, and then you know. I'll be it's like, oh, grumpy. hey, morning, you know, hey, babe. Like, you know, really early in the morning. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> but it's not actually, he has no memory of it. And then yeah, in, the morning, in the morning, you were like, good morning, wifey. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you just abused me like three hours ago. It's like a turn. <laughs> Marty remembers me waking up like in all states of just fucking. Yeah, he's just one of those people who's just not there. He's, yeah. a, he's, he's unconscious, but his body's moving. Yeah. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> well, what's an annoying thing about us, if oh. anything? Man, I what? would have a lot. <laughs> one. Do you want to go first or me? Uh, I'm still thinking. Um, the one thing that I normally hate in people. No, about me. No, no, but this is one thing you do that I would criticize <laughs> other people so hard for. I can't stand it when people eat loudly. But you eat loudly <laughs> and I think it's so <laughs> cute. Oh, yeah, I'm very... <laughs> I think it's like it's the cutest thing in the world and I think that's like for me to normally hate someone so much for doing that and then you do it and it's like I love you so hard I was like holy shit that's wife material oh wow because it's like normally you if so you it's hate not an annoying thing though you oh, yeah, love true. it yeah fuck what is annoying um I'll go oh, please don't I'm scared oh babe there are there are four yeah, no, I there's, think not, I, there's not many, babe, but the, I would have to say, wisely. like, I thought I was bad with, like, losing shit and, like, you know, temporarily misplacing shit. Like, if I, if Mon so bo bad. borrows something for, like, f two minutes, it could be anywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she won't have any memory of where she put it. It'll find it in the yeah, weirdest places. Weird. I found fucking car keys on the front lawn or, like, just, mm. just, just the weirdest shit in the weirdest places. And Is Michael a good kisser? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my sweet, beautiful man. <laughs> That's he... a no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a beautiful kisser. What my about me, Mon? I'm pretty fucking. Yeah, you were very yeah. good. The first thing Fuck that Mon yeah. said about you, Marty, was, yeah. man, is he a good kisser? Yeah, he yeah. was. I think Matt got a photo of us the first time we kissed. Where was it? Yeah, he fucking creep. He was, wasn't even yeah, invited. No, it was and the just... first time we kissed. That, yeah. You... No, I'm pretty sure we'd kissed before that. Oh, what, that ex out? can't go. Out. No, I it was it was, it was it was bad. like Mon was just house sitting, I, and I came, went over to the house and invited Matt to come over. That's when we first started talking about the podcast. Oh yeah, the podcast. And you were filming him. No. Yeah, Matt was always filming us, like always trying to be real We're sly about it. <laughs> always be kind of yeah. looking away, have his phone in weird places, <laughs> I don't fucking know. filming Maybe us all the time. Yeah. <laughs> fucking good. weird, man. Yeah. Was I a good kisser? Yeah, the best kisser I've ever kissed. That's right, boys. You're, a good, you're a good kisser. Well, you know, know you are. Yeah. I'm actually Fuck like yeah. an insanely good kisser. I already know that. 
<laughs> I know too. <laughs> yeah, yeah mom's guys. always macking on me. <laughs> Yeah, well, Whenever you she's got, kissed. you know, something in her fair. system. We've kissed. So you guys can kiss too. Yeah, I don't know if ours is, like, ours is like... Ours is like... Yeah. Well, fuck. I haven't kissed Marty with tongue in years. Oh, man. We used to... We don't kiss with tongue. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean... Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's getting so excited over there. Look at that smile on his <laughs> brown face. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Well, thanks for being married to us. And you guys are dumb. You shouldn't have done yeah, it. Like, pretty silly. It's your own fault. So welcome. And I love you. And that's that. Um, yeah. Thank you for marrying us. And let's watch some website videos soon. I want to. Yeah, I want to watch them. And yeah. you guys should beat Bad. us as well. I'd love to show them. I'm re- genuinely excited to show them the pistillery now. Oh, I think Amber won't like that one. Why? Because you don't really do anything gross. It's me that does the gross shit. Yeah, but it's like it's not that gross compared to some of the other videos. You it, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I want to see, see how... Piss. It's like, imagine oh. like a winery, but they're all like... It's Different pisses. So Whose are they? Spark. Oh, that's smart. Just all the boys. And you drink them? Just sips at them. That's oh, you cool. skull a couple. When was that? <laughs> that was oh, a while no. ago. Were we together? That was a while ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't think we were, babe. I don't film just before me. Do you drink them, babe? No, I can't do the piss. I can oh, yeah. sip it, but I can't do the open my throat up and pour it down. You yet. drank his vomit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's one thing that you've done. That's worse. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, like I said, <laughs> all I've, all I remember I've... I was taking a story for my business and I could just hear you guys in the background vomiting. And then you said you drank it. I was oh, like, oh. Yeah, look, oh. it's fucking comedy. But right? we're pretty cool too. I mean, yeah. we do some piss stuff now and then, don't we? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Have you Especially tried your own parties. poo? <laughs> no. Have you? Have you? I haven't. I think yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I have too. Really? Yeah. yeah. But I not. I was just interested. I think I was like 12. It does kind oh, of look a little so late. Old. <laughs> yeah. I was like 15, 16. I said 12. I 12 is a little late. Space. Well, I guess I was like 22, so that's fucked. No, 20. 20 no, I must have been okay. really young. I used to eat cat food too. Yeah, cat food. But not yeah. wet okay. cat food, dry cat food. Yeah, oh, dog the biscuits. Food. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. biscuits aren't too bad. Dry is okay. That's normal. It's, I a, think. it's a bit of kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> is there actual kangaroo in They've it? They've got different flavours. I don't know. It must. <laughs> I reckon it's pretty fucked though. Remember when <laughs> Bosley was on that shit? He got so fat. Yeah, I don't think it's good for you. It's good for humans though. Just uh, a few. Anyway, so if you want some cat food, Amber knows. Um, whiskers isn't too. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know the brand. <laughs> a Purina with a nice glass of red. <laughs> And a bit of piss on the side. Oh. <laughs> Whiskers for dessert. No, I haven't really tried my own poo. Oh, really? <laughs> I have. Fuck. No, nah, I did, thought but we, I just wasn't 12. Thought we had yeah, a connection. Like four? <clears throat> yeah. You'd, you'd hope so. I was 20, so that's a little it too It tastes late. a certain... What did it taste like? Like tastes mental like strength. Shit. I am intrigued. It tastes like actual shit. It takes a certain mental strength to be able to do these things, though. Like... Like th- there is no one else in the world that can do these. No, I reckon I could do that. What, well, the, babe, that you would never be able to do. Yeah, what he yeah, does. Maybe my not, own. not one person yeah. in the world. I'd rather eat my poo than I would drink my pee. No way. Really? Hundred percent. Poo's a oh, whole. Wait, poo's so nah. stinky, oh. winky. Oh. Oh, it's a stinky, <laughs> winky poo poo. Oh, like, I see swollen. blood and rocks in it. Oh, Swally not for me. Oh, oh. Oh, bubble, you, blister, bar, blood. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh. when you burp, you, everything. Bro. Smells like shit in your breath. Oh, Stop! Yeah. Oh, okay. no. Stop! It's bad. Stop! Okay. Stop! Oh, my God! Piss, <laughs> piss, piss is like delicious. Honestly, I would drink oh. piss right now. Ew. I kind of I kinda want piss. <laughs> like talking about piss, I kind of want... Does anyone have any piss? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does anyone need to piss? Because I'll lie down right now and you guys can piss in my mouth. <laughs> Anyway. Already done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyway, thank you guys for coming on. Yep. And, no and, and, and um, th- yeah, Going I know you're tired and, and busy. thank you, guys. Thank you for having us. Thank you for inviting us here today. <laughs> now, there is one uh, quick competition we wanted you guys to do. Um, <laughs> just a, a Fine, ta- we'll make out. <laughs> <laughs> Would you Matt, guys? put it down. <laughs> Stop filming. He's holding a gun. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, there's not really. I just wanted to um, annoy him on. Oh, thank God. Yeah, you guys are free. I would have so won tight. anyway. <laughs> nah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to have a fat bong break together and we'll be right back to beat the shit out of Matt Brown. getting to the fucking nut end of the fuck. Oh man, I gotta pull my head in wind. Right, it's getting to the fucking nearly cum stage of the fuck of the whore. And it's, it's currently... If I lose, is it done? I think it's 1917. 1917 oh. to Michael. All right, there are two episodes left before the live show. People who are at the live show, they know. They know who win, who wins. So maybe keep it a secret or something. Like don't... Unless I win right now. Which I reckon I will. Yeah, yeah. But still, yeah, true. Yeah, look, it could more than likely Michael's going to no win There's no way this. you're going to win th- two But look, in a I'm, I might have, just for entertainment values, kind of tip the scales into Matt's favour here. Why would you do that? Well, because for entertainment, Matt. Okay. Don't, I'm not pitying you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the evil laugh. Oh, anyway, so this competition, as you all know, is for the very important bottle of Matt's Mint, which is sitting in that cardboard box right there. Okay? It has been, it has taken, It's there's generations of future human beings in there. It's fucking insane. It's a whole bottle of mints. It's like... That's never been done before. If you poured that into a girl, would she get pregnant? No, no. she'd probably die immediately. Of infections. Oh. Okay. Cool. Infections. So anyway, 1917 to Michael. And today. Good movie. We test. Who knows more about concrete? No. I will ask a question. And the boys need to call out their name. Matt or Michael. And whoever calls that first has to answer. Oh, no. If I've... you answer correctly, you get a point. If you answer incorrectly, you don't get a point. And the other person has a chance to answer that question. I work in the concrete industry, but my I'm not like a technical person. Yeah, yeah, Matt. Look, you don't need to explain it, all right? I I'm know, not, I'm just saying. I'm not saying that this is 100% look at him bloody in your favor. Clung clungs. He, fucking, he, fucking. He, he likes being the underdog. I'm not saying that I'm. No, I'm not I've even trying it, to be that. I I'm, just... I'm not saying that I've put it completely in your favor. I'm saying okay. that I've leaned it slightly in your favor. Okay. You were around concrete a lot. No, I'm not even around it. Look, you, you talk about it. I'm, you, okay, you, yeah, that's fair. You talk about it. Uh, that's fair. All right. Question oh, number one. fuck, man. This is going to be so So stupid. remember, Matt or Michael. Oh, sure, we're going to yell it out. Yeah, you got to yell your own name out. What color is concrete? Michael. Gray. One nil. Well, that's negative. What? You want to call it gray? No, because concrete comes in colors. It's all come also comes in off white. All right, look one. To all. say concrete is grey would be a mistake. A mistake. Uh, all right, look. It also uh, comes I'll, in exposed uh, colours, which is com- which is different coloured rocks. Man, and what you, about polished? Do you like the polished? I like polished, but that's not a colour. That's just a polished finish. See, see? okay, this is fucked. I don't. I don't want to get technical, <laughs> but it fucked. doesn't all but come in grey. Shit is well, the most common fucking concrete. That is, a, is, that is a big misconception that all concrete is grey. So, all right, look. Question number two. It's one all. I'll give you both a point there. What is concrete most widely used for? Michael. Foundations of buildings and roads. No, not roads. (laughs) Foundations of buildings. And... You can't say two things. Is it foundation of buildings or what? Concrete slabs to build things on top of. Hey, you said like three different answers. They're the same thing, just different. No, they're said. not. Concrete. concrete foundations for buildings is one thing. Concrete slabs is one thing. And what was the other thing you said? They're commonly most used for the concrete slab for building something. All right, concrete slab. Matt, what's your answer? What's the most concrete most commonly used for? Most widely used. Almost oh, widely used for. It's got to be house slabs. 
Fuck, copy my answer, much. <laughs> used building material in the entire... It's most widely used building material in the entire world. Well, that's what it is. It's a building material. So your It's most widely used building material in the entire world. Yeah, I know, but that wasn't your question. What's it most so commonly it's building, used for? Yeah, for building material. Okay. That's, that's that, that, So that you're both like wrong. You fuck that no, up. No, you're both wrong. You did, neither of you said building I material. Understand. I understand your witchcraft. Who made this? Now. Reveal. Concrete. Revelio. Is super popular, as we know, right? So question number three. Concrete is super popular, like I said, right? <laughs> Shut up. Now, the reason it's so popular and everyone loves it so much is is because it is resistant of two things that not many other materials are. What are they? What is concrete oh, fuck, resistant that's Michael, to? Michael, it is resistant to water and it is also resistant to air. Mate, what are your answers? That's not bad. That's not a bad guess. It's definitely resistant, or well, it's sort of resistant to water. But yeah, it's resistant to water and... God, I was going to say like... Um, yeah, it's a very good answer. I'll have to choose something different then. Um, yeah, I don't know what the other thing would be. Um, I was going to say um, to the sun. What the fuck is the sun? Like what do you have a key? thing in the, in the sky? Oh, I thought you were talking about All right. You're both right about water. Fire was the other answer I was looking uh, for. Fire. Of course. I was close, son. on fire. Oh. Yeah, I anyway. was close. Oh, shit, man. I, I, All right, so I'll give you both a half Really? Point. Concrete's resistance to fire? Okay. What if it heats up to a certain amount? Would it break out? Well, a certain fucking we fucked know. the slab out know. there up. It burnt. Yeah, yeah holy shit. Yeah, that, so blew, that blew that's up a lot. Maybe that's because it was hot wood. Yeah, the, those buildings in... 9-11 yeah that's, well those are the steel beams right apparently they can uh, melt it uh, to a very high degree sorry <clears throat> what's the score it's uh, one and a half all one and a half what are the three things in concrete Matt Matt <laughs> I'm gonna get this wrong it's gonna be what that makes concrete yeah it's gotta be cement water sand perfect oh my Nailed god it. That's crazy. He's fucking nailed it. There's not much in fucking concrete, is there? <laughs> so, what is it? it? Sand, cement, sand, water. Cement. Isn't cement concrete? No. The fuck? Cement, cement's the powder. It's a big misconception, oh, Michael, okay. my dear, that concrete is not cement. Cement is a product in the concrete. Oh, no. This is fucked. I thought I'm you might do a fun question, like how many cubic meters are in the Burj Khalifa? That'd be cool. You know that? No, but it'll be a fun question to try and guess. Maybe that's fucked, man. Yeah. How did? All right, it's two and a half to one and a half to Matt. So I'm coming to the end of this shit. I'm so sorry, everyone. This is terrible. I um I've made a grave error in judgment, and this is a shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Who invented cement? Oh no, Michael. I'm gonna say Andrew Johns. <laughs> it's pretty close. A football player. Actually, pretty close. <laughs> Seriously. Really? Yeah. It's a common name. Um, I'm going to say... I can't think of one person, but I'm going to say the the uh, the Romans invented it. That is true. But there's one person here. Julius Caesar. Joseph fuck. Asphden. Oh, fuck me. That was never going to happen. It was pretty happen. close to, jo- to John's jo- Joseph. Yeah, I was like, okay. whoa, holy and Andrew, shit. Andrew's a bit Joseph. Probably a letter in there Andrew, that's similar Joseph, to that. John's. Yeah. But yeah, well done, Matt. All right. Wow, what a riveting game that one was. was never that's ever crazy. Win, that's was crazy. It? It's three and a half points Wait, who won? to one and a half. Matt Brown wins this week. Holy shit, it is still alive, guys. Now it, it could still be nineteen all next week. Audience, you know that, that was that was fucked. That's not fair. I've really won already. <laughs> Well, but, it's kind of fair. You got to do the hair styling yeah, one. Yeah, see? Like yeah, some was you've got hair, I've got no hair. hair. You can. I've had hairdressers that are bald and they're fucking great. My hairdressers yeah, are bald. Yeah, but they're trained hairdressers, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you at not? least had training on your long, unwashed hair, hair. Yeah. unless right. Amber washes it. Look, yeah, well, she does sometimes. She actually said that before, yeah. I never wash my hair. She does that. I even I have to wash my hair. That's what wives should do. Scalp. Um, 
Anyway, look. All right, you. I'm still winning. That's fine. Well 18. done. You know stuff about shit. Concrete. Very widely used. Yeah. Very common, common used thing. What movie did you see on the weekend? I'm gonna say Warlock Three. Killers of the Flower Moon was it? Yeah, that's what it was. Is called, that yeah. really the name of it? That's that's fucking shit. Hey, why is it called that? Do you know? I don't know. I don't. It's, a, it's a new Leo movie. It's Very, like three I, and a half hours long. I enjoyed it. Getting a bit awesome. over them fucking the long Le- movies. The Leo movies. Anything They're a bit like Leo fucking. Is, was that? Man. Was that? I'm not even gonna open that can of worms and talk to okay, you. Okay, I'll try my directed. best not to go too far. Who directed the newest one? Martin Scorsese. Yeah, another yeah, all, his all, the, all the big directors Bit they just make these fucking epics. artsy fucking so like way too long. How does he know the Cut name? Cut an hour off. Say that name again. I think it's called Killers of the Flower Moon. No, say the name of the director. Martin Scorsese. Who the fuck calls their kid what? Marcus Cork. Martin Marcus Scorsese. Scorsese. Pretty shit. sure that it's probably not his real name, but I'm pretty sure he's Italian of some kind. Man, that is shit. Don't know their name. How names. do you not know their name? How do you not know his name? I know that one that did the Pulp Fiction. Steven Spielberg. That was actually Quentin Tarantino. Oh, yeah, I know that one. Steven Spielberg or one too. And I know James Cameron because he did Titanic and Leonardo DiCaprio is in Titanic. Titanic's probably one of the best films ever. They should All make right, a that's Titanic enough. 2. That Something is enough. Off. Let's fucking move on. They should make Titanic 2. Sorry they about did. that segment and it's 1918 to Michael. Let's Can fucking I say get one into thing? some Tinder Can I say adventures. one thing? Titanic is actually the second movie about the Titanic. Shh. I'll leave you with that. I'll leave you with that. Shh. Don't, don't. Matt's Tinder Adventures. Jesus. It's Boy. been done is what I'm trying to say. Get Michael. it, Matt. T I N D R, we have Matt's Tinder. <laughs> Matthew Brown has lost control now. These women will lose their souls. This is a segment where Michael and I have taken over Matt Brown's Tinder. Even though he's technically in a committed, happy, healthy relationship, Michael and I still want to manage to get some plan B's, plan C's, because let's be honest. Or even just some side bitches. Hey, no. Yeah, baby. No, I, hey, I, yeah, baby. I think I love my girlfriend. Oh. Did you say I love you? He did. He did. Don't yeah. Don't put that bad that bad vibe out there. I think this could be this could be the one, man. Yeah. Holy shit, man, man. How did you say it? Were you were you grabbing her tits? I love you. Sir. Oh yeah, all right. I'll leave it with that. That's how it happened. <laughs> oh, you won't tell us. No way. It's personal. Remember your little thing yeah, you cut yeah, before? That's true. Yeah, but that's <laughs> saying I love you. I'll see how I told I told Amber after she told me. And I think it was like a couple of days later. Oh, really? You waited a couple yeah. of days? <laughs> Make yeah. that bitch swear, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, what about you? <laughs> yeah, I said it after Mon said it. I said it like 10 seconds in a meeting. Huh? Oh. <laughs> so you, no, you got to be real. We're being real. With no, the no, re- she, she did. She walked up. I was like, oh my God, I think I love you. And she's like, are you Matt? Yeah. That was Fuck it. off. You're fucking. I did. I you're did. Being, you're being fucking. I was doing I'm it in a joking her. way. I'm gonna ask her now because you're not being. You're not being forthcoming. Uh, what are you gonna do when Tinder ends? What do you mean, go and grind? Well, they were at the end of this season. We're gonna get you security guards from Grinder. Anyway, yeah. let's move on. All right. Look, this is Matt's Tinder adventures. This is how he would talk to these girls. So it's not a shock to their system when they do finally meet him. These are Matt's quests to get Matt's side bitches and Plan Bs and Cs. <clears throat> so Matt starts with Remember that fucking show Blue Healers? Uh, sort of My dad was in it He was the one who was depressed And always put heaps of salt on his meals Oh What an opening line <laughs> Yeah I'm just really proud of him He worked so hard to make it in the acting world And when he landed that job Our whole lives changed He even started getting recognised in the streets sometimes <laughs> I love my dad so much Are you close with your dad? I am really close with my dad With my whole family really Oh, that's great. My dad is my best friend. We're learning how to dance together at the moment. We have we have to go to lessons. <laughs> Mum, not so much. She's got really fat, gross breath. She's always a bit clammy and her eyes are crossed. She always tries to join in with me and dad, but I don't know. She's just a fucking lazy bitch and I don't respect the hag. Is this a joke? <laughs> you can't leave me hanging like this. I'm so invested in the whole mum hating storyline. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing really. I just have never gotten along with mum. She used to just 
fat sleep around the house and she's got like fine black hair around her lips kind of like a moustache she would always be blind drunk and drop me off to school it was so embarrassing loose tops and no bra and then she would lean forwards and you could see her saggy tits swaying so many stories like that once she took a shit in a urinal she used to put salt on butter and eat it with a spoon she's got arthritis in her spine so she can't bend over she used to catch snakes and eat them fully slow cook them oh sorry that's a lot of info but yeah if we ever got serious I would need you to know about my mom once she fell asleep at the pokies and a stranger tried to molest me I had to wake her up by throwing a pint of beer into the fat fucking back fat I'm not sure how to respond to this I'm sorry that happened lol literally everyone I tell these stories has the same reaction my brother's wife didn't believe them until she met her but yeah everyone has family stories I guess mine are just a little more colourful <laughs> Once she gave me an uncooked eggs for lunch at school. Just a 12 pack in my bag. I got bullied pretty bad that day. She would make me shave her back too. I can't with you, but I'm obsessed with you. Oh, <laughs> really? I can't tell if you're joking or not. Usually people get pretty shocked at these stories. Oh, wait. Is it because my dad was on Blue Healers? Yeah, you had me at that. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to get married and solve all your mummy issues. <sighs> Again, I can't tell if you're being serious. Can we just talk about something other than my greasy mother? She puts ciggies out on her tongue when she's blind. <laughs> Are you working? Slippery skin and deep cuts from laboring. Scales from sun damage and flies on her tits. Bags of mulch to snack on and she's blind in one eye. Fingers longer than my arms and she spews fat and cheese. Black rotten teeth and a tongue made of rough stone. She attempts to breastfeed me and I become insecure. Fucking large breasts make me so uncomfortable. Short legs and a long snout. Are you okay? <laughs> Big swollen flaps and she can't speak any English. Hard gash and it's splintered. She spins her head around and doesn't go to church. Now she sounds possessed. Mega nipples that cover her entire chest. Fat glands hang over her fur. Strange that you were chatting to me about her nipples, but I'm here for it. I let her fuck me and we smear our juice on the carpet. My bag of mints churns with lust and I beg her to kill me. She rises and I pop out of her. I can't see. I drag my ripped up stick through salt and unhinged my jaw. Fuck her! Fuck Bluey Ein! My mother responds and she lays eggs. <laughs> no way! Fuck Bluey Ein! <laughs> That's fucked, dude. And that's an ongoing conversation. Oh, right? it's, it's still like going. That. Oh my god, that was fucking good. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt starts the conversation with, <clears throat> "Are you Muslim? <laughs> Are you oh, Muslim? You didn't say that, did you? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Just relax. All right, listen to the conversation. <laughs> what if I was?" Oh, that's cool. I've got like five Muslim mates and they're so cool. They rip bongs and start fights sometimes, but they're usually really friendly. Do you want to meet them? They're great. My grandparents are Muslim. They're converted. My dad's side still practice. I don't rip bongs anymore. Yeah, that's hectic. I love God and shit. Come rip a few bongs. Just have like one or two. Unmatched. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to Yeah, fun. Matt. God, such racist th thought patterns. Get out of it. Anyway, Matt starts with, um, I lean backwards when I walk down steep declines. <laughs> this is a very random opening line, but I guess it worked because I'm replying. Yeah, I lean right back. <laughs> my legs are, are nearly at a right angle sometimes. It's so hectic. Blood pools in my scrotum after fights with my neighbor. <laughs> and then she unmatched. Aww. All right, Matt starts with, What's the youngest person you've ever told to fuck off? That is a very random question. I don't tell many people to fuck off, to be honest. Maybe under my breath at the park when another kid does something to my kid. Oh, You tell kids to fuck off? Jeez, I wasn't expecting that. They're just kids. They don't know any better. Did you ever make any mistakes as a child? Imagine if an adult told you to fuck off. That shit stays with you. My mum used to scare me and then tell me I'm a pink little pussy boy. She'd sing it, even in public. It stuck with me forever. I'm not a pussy boy. I was just a child. Oh, she unmatched? Yeah, she unmatched. Oh. So this chick starts this conversation. Hey, hey, what's happening? <laughs> I just saw short circuited the house. I'll deal with that tomorrow, though. <laughs> it's too late, and I don't want to be walking around and shit. What's your favorite room in your house? 
Oh, that's Steph's a tomorrow problem. I love my bed. It's comfy and I miss it while I'm at work. Yeah, I love my bedroom too. Favorite room is probably my collection room though. I collect a lot of stuff. Least favorite is the laundry. I can't stand that room. <laughs> Stupid fucking washing machine is always so fucking loud and makes dumb beeping sounds. And the sink is full of dirt and feathers. It's yuck ass. Plus it's hot as hell in there. I start sweating straight away and it's so tiny I can barely turn around. So shit, I never go in there unless I totally have to. I'm mad. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Get real fired up about your fucking laundry. <laughs> anyway, that is uh, Matt's Tinder Adventures, guys. There's only one. Two, it's only two more weeks here, but I'm really going to just um, put in some effort. We have one more episode and then it's live. Yeah. Look, there's definitely some potential there. So you've got some girls there that are you, if you want. I think so. I think there was some, some good steps forward then. It was, yeah. So, you know, just don't have to act on it, but just keep it in the back of your mind. Yeah, I think I'm going to be good. Progression was made, though. I don't think way. we really need any dating things at all. What? I can't believe. Do you reckon you'll get married when? I don't know. What, two years? I don't know. Time's a ticket, Matt Brown. Do you reckon you'll have a family? I don't know. Like, come on. You never open up. I'm not revealing anything yet. It's early days. Have yeah, you? but like just in general, not not with your girlfriend. Just, would you want? Can you see yourself having oh, little, yeah, little yeah, brown definitely. kids? Yeah, I definitely want kids. Do you ever brush her hair behind her ears? That's how they know you like them. Cry. All right, guys. Now we'll move on to the questions. Say hit it, Matt Brown. Push the button. Don't spill the mother everywhere. Slick. You have all the questions, and we have all the answers, and we've got lots of dances for you. This is a segment where we answer the questions you guys have commented on the Muddy Michael Fully actual YouTube channel. You, you, answer the most liked questions first. But, so once but, you comment your question, have a scroll through and like the other questions you want us to answer. All right, Maddie, let's pump out a few little questions. Just try to put my whole mouth over the mother the can. And it, you had locked sore. jaw. Locked jaw. You had locked jaw, didn't you? <laughs> you, you have the... What, we, for, at, top question went to Peter, to Peter Hunt. Hunt. Have oh. you ever felt like this? <laughs> Have you ever? Have you ever considered calling the butcher or the random number from the billboard again? That, that was the highest like question. Yeah, the butcher's long story short, look, it got weird. And then the the uh, the <laughs> billboard man changed his number. Um, yeah, look, the butcher I called him and told him oh, it's a, you know, it was all a prank and stuff like that. And um They just wanted to be mates. Yeah, yeah, he just wanted to be mates. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Now we're fucking good mates. Next question is from Joey Evans, 80529. Fuck. All right, uh, question for Marty, Michael, Matt, and James. So, Marty, you can answer for James. Um, if, you all pick an animal, if you can all pick an animal to represent you in a fight to the death, what animal do you pick? Like, like, do we get to choose or animal that's most like us? No, no, no. You get to pick an animal to represent you in a fight. Any oh, so we, we're just trying to come up with the lion. strongest animal that we can. Yep. Lion. So you go lion. Ooh. One lion. I reckon one elephant would kill one lion. I'm going with a bear, like a grizzly bear. And James would probably say... Jet. <laughs> James would just go as himself. <laughs> yeah, James would fight him. <laughs> Crocodile, maybe? Nah, nah, man. Crocodiles too. Stomp, stomp yeah, on his head, true, bro. True. So Come on, it's man. going to be out of the grizzly and the elephant. Shark, and the fight is in water. Oh, he's just throwing a curveball. I didn't see that coming, bro. What animal are we? You're, you're Sid from Ice Age. I'm a sloth. <laughs> That's what you are, dude. You're a sloth. Michael's <laughs> a lab rat. A really old one who's been through heaps of experiments. <laughs> yeah, but he won't die. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. And, and Matt is a... Um, Hippopotamus. <laughs> He's a python. Oh, wow. No, I reckon no, Matt would be... You know, like those... Um, those, those big rats. Those fucking massive fucking... They're like... Bush um, rats. No, they're like so big. You see them in the zoo. Nah, Matt Fuck. would be a, oh, wom a wombat. A wombat. <laughs> oh, Matt's a wombat. <laughs> yeah, I love wombat. Yeah, they are cute. So it does pretty. actually, I can see you've got the wombat face. 
All right. Next question is from Tablecloth84. Um, I've been re-watching the chaos of the first two seasons of the podcast and was wondering, would you ever do a retro episode where you had a few drinks and you did all the early like uh, early episode stuff like um, a lot of the early segments? Yeah, the first like season we just episode. get fucking drunk every time. Mm. So we weren't used to like talking to camera like this. But um, We uh, do a science time, um, a Domino's prank, because that's a lot of the stuff we did. Funny segment names. You know, we can do that for an episode. Stuff. That's a great. So we could do a retro a one. Little idea. We get throw back to first. Season. Hammer drunk. We call dominoes and do all sorts of shit. Yeah, yeah. I guess we could fucking maybe, oh, maybe Hymus. But no, I reckon Christmas we get high again. That was fun. Yeah. So maybe next season we will yeah. definitely we'll do a retro that, episode hey. next, Look, next year. We don't. Yeah. We don't. We don't drink too much, especially because like, what if it's a great episode? We're super high energy, and you guys love it. And then every week, we'll get, everyone will be like, "Get drunk again, yeah, get drunk again." Yeah. And then before you know, we're alcoholics. Yeah, but we can do a retro throwback to old well, you get drunk? And setups. Fine, I'll get fucked up, and you guys Imagine can. Matt hammered. That would oh, be fun. Oh yeah, wine, white wine, Riesling. Matt loves a Riesling from the Yarra Valley. Oh really? Yeah. That was that was cool words. <laughs> That's cool words. Next question is from Mark Howden seven one six one. Um. He said a bunch of things, but he said, what would you hope for in 2024 um, with this uh, podcast on the channel? Uh, well, more growth, um, more... This year has been quite a roller coaster, yeah. more than any other season, I would say. So um, we're going to restructure things a little bit so that we're not so doing like fucking 20 different things at once and so that we can hopefully um, put the time into the podcast that it needs because last season we could like the Matt's black book and all that shit but this season like we have to come up with new ways because we can't do that shit anymore because everything just gets age restricted I like the idea of talk about the town we go on there's a yeah like we did talk about doing that yeah we're already thinking about segments for next season if you have any suggestions please do comment them down below all right and we'll take them into consideration very very open to segments (laughs) we already had a couple of good ones which will because like obviously we can't do matt's tinder segment so that'll be dearly missed and um black book look i I wouldn't maybe i feel like that would just get maybe i can try and and then they'll just like we'll just have to remove the real bad bits then it can go on spotify the fucked one or I wonder if we should do like a, a Matt versus Michael number two or like somehow maybe somebody threw one out there that didn't that actually tickled my fancy a bit because James is always a good fun to have on and uh, but then he's not always here is he mm. yeah okay maybe on Mondays though he could be if, if, if we planned it right someone threw out there going James versus Marty and that kind of got me going a bit but I don't know. You'd have to be here every open. episode. You'd have to be here every episode. Yeah. But yeah, guys, look, next season where it's going to, yeah, there's some cool shit happening. <laughs> Just, uh, that's all I'm going to say. Stick yeah. around for the journey. Yeah. This season I'd say is, is, is definitely less than last season. And it just feels like so fucking. But remember this. Ripped so in much, so many ways. It was so ripped much in- went against us with, um, with YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's then, really kind of thrown a spanner in the works. But like, we knew it was shit. coming. We knew it was coming. And yeah, just a roller coaster life, a roller coaster this year, man. Fucking hell, cunt. So it's just hard to come and be, put the energy in. And I see, we see the comments like, oh, you guys, so low energy is fucking, it's not what it used to be. Yeah, we have to. We literally have to change. Otherwise, it stops. It's either change or stop. Mm. But we will, don't worry, we'll find a way to fucking win your hearts back. And we'll all be laughing so hard, bro. Yeah. We'll find someone, a way. I reckon, yeah, someone will have a heart attack. We are the best, man. We At the end of the day, we're the best. We're the, this is the best podcast. Like, if you stick around, you you will just be fucking blown away by how good we are. There's definitely the something that's never been done before. On we're here. just the best in general. Like, if you put a doctor next to me... <laughs> I'm fucking yeah, better than them. Way better than doctors. Even like uh, like that anyone. Be Brad effect. Pitt, I reckon I'm probably better than. Better I'm better looking. than I'm better than Leonardo DiCaprio. Nah, fuck, it's hard to be better than him. I'm better than most things ever in the world. I think. Yeah. Yep. I agree. That's good. Well said. Um, next question is from Dean Moore zero eight. Um, he did ask That's two crazy. things. He asked for a German or gibberish as of Matt versus Michael. But if not, can we get one at the live show? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Because it is good to get a little 
a little bit of German and a little bit of a you know a wooden spoon slap at the end of it. I'll do one next week as well. Halt. Mein Hals tut weh. Uh, next question is from Nuck. Nuck. Nintendo. I just want to buy it. From Nuck. Um, have you guys considered going to public toilets and calling the random numbers written on the walls? Yeah, yeah, that's happening. I'm definitely, I think the that's The problem is, though, most people write those numbers on there because they're stitching their mate up. And most people don't answer. If I call another mobile on a private number, it's like a 10% chance they'll answer. So I love that idea, but it's highly unlikely that they'll fucking answer, man. Two more left. Uh, next one is from Ad Victory three two nine one. Michael um, on the latest website video. Well, it wasn't the latest, but it was the last one he saw. Um, you got hit uh, the pain scale when you got hit by an orange to your face. What was it? Oh, the Mandarin. Oh, Mandarin. Mand- sorry. It's it rocks you, but it's not like painful. It's just scared that you might not be able to see again. It's like getting punched really hard if you've ever been hit, but it's like recoverable and. It, if, I'd say after like half, what was it, an hour? I could sort of open my eye back up and then everything was okay. So it's like an hour of like, oh, fuck, this hurts. Oh, man, I remember getting an apple to the eye. That was fucking shit. Apple's different story. Both from James, too. Apple's different story because apple's like a hard, that's going to fuck you up. A mandarin doesn't fuck you up. Like apple is like a rock in somewhat way. Right on my eyeball. Open eye. Yeah. Oh man, that was fucked. In early stream days, you copped like I think it was oranges to the head. You copped two to the head from Luke and James, and you had to walk around the corner just to so have a break. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember I got hit, rocked by an orange to the head. First yeah. shot, but didn't get caught on camera. So I'm just like, I can't <laughs> stick around anymore. I just got hit in the head, but I had to because yeah, the video that's... was just beginning, and they didn't even see it. Those old oh. live streams were fucking so fucked. We'd just be like, oh, it looked like such. Bags of shit. Yeah, man. I live stream for half. It's an like hour. I looked like I was on meth, but I never actually did meth. It's like <laughs> what a shit way to be. At least look like meth, but do meth. And we just looked so like just like such losers. Yeah, well, we sort of. Well, that's until we became the best. Now it's like, man, I can't ever believe that I was like that. <laughs> and everyone's like, "What the fuck are you guys doing? Throwing yeah. your lives away for this? <laughs> for lives? <laughs> throwing our lives away while we throw lives." Fruit. Fruit at each other. All um, right, final one is from Sam Warner six zero two four. Now this is more of a statement than a question, bullshit. but it's very good. Please remain uh, refrain. Sorry, from uh, speaking till I finish. Movies uh, are cooler no. than golf. Sorry. Now, okay, w- stickers aren't cooler than golf. Golf is as boring as recycling. Yes, <laughs> pretty sure. Now I realize I <laughs> fucked up with this comment. Because 90% of people don't play golf. I get it, all right? Sorry. But if you do play golf, you realize what I'm saying. And, like, I'm right. If you play golf, golf is better than movies. What was the other fucking thing? Recycling. Stickers. Recycling is shit. It's there boring. Was- and then what's the other thing? Maybe Stickers. you should Stickers try. Stickers is it. shit. Maybe you should try. Most maybe there's something rewarding about dropping that can into the There were the more comments saying movies are better than golf. I get movies. Like I saw a movie last night, the Leo one. It was all right. So you do it. admit movies Mo- are better than golf. Movies aren't better than golf to me. But if you're a golfer, you will understand that golf is better than movies. And I get it. Most people watch movies. But I'm going to say this. Most movies are shit. 99 movies out of 100 are shit. I've seen so many movies. If I watch a horror movie, it's shit. Apart from Talk To Me. Well done, Racker. That was a good... Finally, an original horror. Every horror movie, I know what's going to happen. Every action movie, I know what's going to happen. Every movie, I know it's just a movie. Because it is. It's a movie. You just got ADD. You can't you can't settle down and watch something. Well, I don't mind. I just pop my own vids on. So also, I will agree with you. I'm the best. Golf is fun for the first nine holes. Golf is fun if you can hit a ball. If you can't hit a ball, even if you can't you, hit a ball, you you're just going to warm your arms up. You're just swinging at the air. But that's no, not fun. I don't like swinging like this. I like hitting something and seeing a reward. And when it lands on the green, and by the, I don't know if you guys know this, I've gotten three hole in ones at pitch and putt. I've seen it go in the hole from being tens of meters away. And it just goes, and I don't see the ball anymore. I have to walk up and pick it out. Most people have to putt. I didn't even take my putter up. I just picked it out of the hole. I am really good at golf. 
No, you're not. Okay, I'm pretty good at golf. I'm getting yeah. better, but you, anyone can go through this. Anyone can do that. Anyone can just watch a movie. It is so that. shit. Like, oh, Man, this but is it's most so, people in the movies. It's so hard to sit there it's, and just watch your friends get angry for fucking 18 holes of golf. No, it's I don't get angry. I, I celebrate. I, you I'm, do not. I, I've I, seen you more angered at your game than you have been happy with it. I keep my head very well, I think. You're not the worst in the group. <laughs> but like, look, look, you got to have emotions. At least there is emotions instead of this. Oh, there's Just emotions. fucking staring there's emotions at the screen, in movies. How dare watching you? Watching some people pretend to be someone they're not. How it's dare crazy. You? Our movies bring out way more emotions than oh, golf. God, this anyway, is getting out look, of control. Look, boys, they're both grand hobbies. All right. Golf is better if you play golf. I'm sorry, I get it. Most people watch movies. But if you tried both and you were good, if you don't like golf, if you shit at it, that's the thing. If, you're sh if you don't like golf, it's because you've got no hand-eye coordination, your motor skills are shit, and you can't fucking hit the ball. Thank you for saying that. You've gained more followers to the cause of movies. Look, people who do have hand-eye coordination and are cool and rad. That's and true. I wonder if there's the anyone who is really good at golf that hates it. Yeah, there's no fucking way. If you are good at it, you will like it. And it's very hard to be good at it. But that means that if you are good at it, you like it. Let that us means know you have skills. Let mm. us know in the comments if you're really good at good golf, golf, but you, you don't like it. it. I'd love to know more about you. Yeah, yeah. Let us know. Is there anyone that's good at golf and hates golf? Anyway, let's 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 move on. The only people that hate movies are people who aren't good at it. Are people who are blind. You sound like you're very frustrated, Mike. Anyway. So, <laughs> I think I won that. Look, I get I get where you're coming from, but <laughs> I'm better. I'm, I'm better. I, golf is better if you are good at it. And this is sponsored by. It's actually Hit him, brought, Matt. brought to you by Mother. Your time is there for us to waste. Picking up your phone was your first mistake. Ha 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 ha. It's prank call time. Ampo, speaking with. How can I help? Yeah, oi, Jason. Oi, mate. I've just come through um, your survey. Uh, did you know you've got the signs around the wrong way? Um, the diesel, it says diesel on the, on the unleaded, and on the unleaded it says diesel, mate. And I've just I've just come through, meant to put diesel in me yute, right? And it's come through as unleaded. I've dr driven off, right? And now my car's fucking stalling on me, and she's fucking spitting and spluttering down the road, right? And look, that must be it, because I softened some out and had a look at it and that. And lo and behold, bro, it's meant to be diesel and it's only that years have got the signs around the wrong way, mate. You just need to get out there immediately and fucking swap them around, bro. I, I, I'm not going to lie, bro. I didn't understand a word you said then. What are you fucking talking about? I'm speaking English, isn't it? What? I'm speaking English, aren't I? What do you mean? You can't understand me, mate. I, I, what do you mean? I, I just told you I can't understand what you're saying. Yeah, look, I'll, I'll explain it again, mate, okay? I'll slow it down for you. I come in this morning, right, and I'll feel that me yet, right? This morning now, is it? Was it this morning or is it just before? You just told me it was just before, mate. Mate, it was late this, mo it was late this morning, all right? I'm, and I'm telling you now, I didn't drive, have to drive far, and this afternoon my car's conked out. All right? So listen up for a second, right? I'm meant to fill it with diesel, right? You've got the signs around the wrong way. I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do the signs, mate. I don't do that. I yeah, just well, what do you do mean? Shift and then I go home. Do you understand me now? You understand what I'm saying right now? Like, what, what, and what do you mean you don't do the signs? I'm telling you, it's your, your shop that's done me in. That's done me in. That's done me in, mate. Your shop's done me in. Huh? You, your, what do you mean? Your shop, right? My shop, my shop. No, I think you need to. You know, I think you need to come in and speak to the manager or something. What are you talking about? Not, you to need to speak me. to the manager, mate. Like it's your shop. You nah, fucked up. You You've got to compensate me. Problem, mate. Sorry, mate. That's the, that's your problem, not mine. I don't do the signs. I didn't switch nothing around. Mate, it's your, it's your, it's your shop, mate. You need to speak to the manager. That's not my job, right? I'm so coming what, in. What I'll I come in. Do? You let the what manager know. You just got to swap, swap the signs around, mate. I can't. What, what do you mean? You're fucking everyone over, mate. Look, I'm oh, your I'm boss. Can't. I come in. I come in. Oh. Wow. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. We should have calmed it. It's too, too now aggressive. Now call back and apologise. And be like, mate, that's. I see where you've come from. 
all right, guys, look, it's a setup. It's a setup for next week. We're going to fucking drive it home. And look, if he doesn't answer, I'll call the yoga back pl- place back as well because we won't be fucking calling it 8 p.m. next week. <laughs> It'll be on a little bit earlier. Ow. It'll be on a little bit earlier, so we'll be able to call them. They'll be open. So, look, we got two um, great options there, and I just want you guys to know uh, to give us a five-star review right now. And, and, and like and comment and subscribe if, if you want uh, a lot yeah, of you fuck, watch but don't subscribe I want to so see if nice. we can get to 3k five star reviews on, on Spotify. Spotify that would be so cool to and see and remember guys the uncensored uh, version is on Spotify alright um, so yeah but um, fucking we're the best and shit bro what with a B E S T B E S T B E S T B by our merch. With a B E S T B E S T B E S T B. With a B E S T B E. I don't know how to like. Yeah, we are. As I said before, it. I'm three hole in ones, and with number nine in the world at Worms, I am the best. Two episodes left. It's fucking Gronk. We're the best. Golf sucks. Walk off. Walk off. Walk fucking off. hold me back, cunt. <laughs>